Bomb here, and welcome to episode 5 of Slide 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we chased Neil around town. We destroyed a disco ball with Bentley. We fought Dimitri and obtained the Clockwork Tail Feathers. And now we're going to move on to episode 2. A Starry-Eyed Encounter. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India. So the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Sly Cooper and the gang in a starry-eyed encounter. But anyways, just You'd think that Clockwork's murderous intents would be more or less reserved for the Coopers, you know, basically considering that they were the, his main target. I think that Clockwork was exact. That Clockwork went on a job wasn't more wasn't more hostile than say Sly. Sly basically going on his mass murder rampage. Anyways, we got some new gadgets here. We've got the size disabler, the turnbuckle launch, and the combat dodge. Basically, the turnbuckle launch and the combat dodge are two solid enemies. I'm not enemies, at power-ups. Turnbuckle launch, very good for Murray. Basically, this gives him an increase to his jump range. So, let's go in and just start selling a bunch of things. We'll buy the combat dodge, and as for the size disabler, we'll get that later. But anyways, for the time being... Anyways, beware patches of grass like this, because they often or not will contain cobras. So, let's head on down, grab our first bottle. 30 in this area, just like the last. And we have a treasure right off the bat, next to a bottle. This is the first time treasure in the game. If you see a treasure with a blinking red light, that means that the treasure will self-destruct. If time runs out, and you'll have to restart again. The treasure will not actually get, will not actually hurt you when it explodes. So basically, let's go back. Yeah, so basically, not a hard treasure to get back. It's right next to the safe house. Yeah, Bentley will disarm it. And that's the first one. So, let's just start exploring. What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Okay. So anyways, pretty simple. Just spire jump over here. Let's grab this bottle. Yeah, this place is a little bit harder than Dimitri's nightclub to find bottles in just because... We, because basically you have more remote areas like this. But just keep your eyes peeled and you should do fine. Okay, there's another one right there. For some reason, just Rajan putting his clue bottles on just the end of a spear. <laughs> no one will find it there. Okay, so anyways, let's just search around. 
Yeah, in some ways, this place can be a little bit easier to navigate than, say, Paris, because you can at least differentiate what's going on in each section of the level. So anyways, let's just get over here. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. That's another thing about flashlight guards. Just because their light is on you doesn't mean they see you. You have to basically be unobstructed in order for their flashlight to have any sort of impact on you. Which can be pretty nice. Okay, silver pen. Yeah, screw your ability to write. You get no writing implements. You have no assistance in your writing. You are screwed in that regard, sir. You are doomed. Writing is no longer for you. Okay, there we go. Ow. Who hit us? Okay. Let's defeat the monkey. Come on. There. Okay. We're all good there. I think there should be a bottle somewhere near here. Okay. Yeah, I know that there's some... Okay, yep, there it is. That's the bottle I was thinking of, probably. Yeah, there are two main areas to this stage. The main area, where basically Rajan's palace is, and then you have the guest house island, which is on the other end of the bridge. Okay. I think we can make it. Yes, there we are. Yeah, I always feel doubtful in myself when I when I try to do that jump. I always feel like it's gonna fail. Oh, by the way, you can also sneak into the palace via this entrance, basically. But it also requires you jump across conical rocks, so basically it's not like you can miss out on Bentley's tutorial. Okay, but we're doing pretty well. Two bottles already obtained. Okay, let's just search this area. Yeah, basically, that red stuff coming out of that jar is supposed to be spice or fragrant. Back in the day, I actually thought that was blood. I thought that that was Rajan's blood fountain. Basically. Just as some sort of testament to strength, you know? Basically, like, don't mess with me or your blood just spew from the jar. That sort of logic. Okay. Let's pick your pocket. Boom. Okay, you coming up. Okay, nothing in your pocket. Okay. Nothing over here. Ah, there's a bottle right there. Okay, ten bottles obtained. Okay, I think there's a bottle in a corner somewhere. Yep, right here. As I recall, there are plenty of bottles in this section of the level. Okay, yep, there's one right. No, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. There, there we are. Good, good, good. Okay, let's take this one. Yeah, we'll make our way back to the safe house. Yeah, we'll also keep an eye out on things. Okay. Head back down this route. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, we'll be coming back here later for a mission. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, just that feeling when you're running around. Anyways, those elephants, basically, you get caught by those spotlights, you're going to have guards coming after you. So, just be on the lookout for them. 
you don't want to get caught by those spotlights. So if you're Murray, just that's gonna be absolutely zero issue because you'll just smack everything down. Frankly, that's just gonna be fun. It's just gonna be the fun day where basically just all these guards coming after you, but you're just smacking them down. Yeah, anyways, your range is gonna be limited until you can open up the drawbridge, which we'll be doing later on. We'll be doing that soon enough. Yeah, though for the time being, only Sly can enter here. Which isn't going to basically cause you to lose out on much. Okay. Yeah, basically that elephant is the only way that guards are really going to creep into this section of the level. Okay, let's go in. Thief nuts. And size tranquilizer, and size, and basically the size power, basically, when you use that one, it'll shrink the enemies, it'll make them weaker, it'll make it where, basically, they're easier to deal with. Okay, so anyways, 16 more bottles to go. I, to be honest, I'm a little nervous. I am making a lot more use out of the knockout die than I thought I would. Okay, so anyways, the combat ro the combat dodge. This is a pretty handy power, because basically, when you're in a combat scenario, basically you're facing a guard, you're facing a boss, you can basically just quickly sidestep out of the way, and you're, and basically just escape from them. Okay, let's head over here. some more stuff you are dead okay thought that was a ledge I had fooled myself okay there we go yeah there aren't gonna be any bottles on the bridge so you don't have to worry about that or are they yeah, I love how I'm making myself paranoid I have to say, this is a pretty nicely constructed bridge. All, basically, all in all, very solid. Very quaint. Okay. Yeah, let's go over here. Yeah, the guests out. The guest houses always drive me in, drive me up a wall. Cause I always get paranoid here. Okay, I don't know how someone caught us, but, well, we're dealing with this now. There we go. Come on, jump up. Okay, there's another bottle over there. But first things first, let's head over here. Bottle, bottle, who has the bottle? Okay, yep, there's the last treasure. Okay, anything over here? Okay, let's bolt. Okay. Yep, right over here. Okay, aha, there's the next one. And there. Okay. Let's go and continue our pursuit of bottles. Okay, 22, only eight to go. 
Uh, just that stress of find of searching out bottles. Okay, where can we find one? Is one right here. Okay. Ah, there we are. And smack you. I think I see something. Or I didn't see something. I saw nothing. Okay. Nothing over there. Okay, let's make our way back to the safe house. Basically, we'll keep our eyes peeled for any bottles. And then we'll complete the first mission, basically. And then we can end things off. I can go searching for bottles. And then, basically... Just if push comes to shove, I'll basically just do a part two, where we'll do another grand search. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I thought that we would find the bottles a little faster than this. Okay, but then again... Oh, no, no, no! Okay, there we go. Now let's grab that, that stack, that vase again. Yeah, we'll make our way back towards the palace. We'll check out the east wall. I know that was a bit of a rush, but hey. Let's go, go. Yeah, the worst thing is when, when you're caught and a flashlight guard's coming your way. Thankfully, not at, when you're caught, not every guard on the stage is going to be aggro. So, you can take solace in that. Okay, come on. Gold pen. Okay, I believe that there is a bottle near the water wheel. So, let's check out here. Okay, anything near the water wheel? Nope, nothing near the water wheel. But it's sworn there was something near the water wheel. There is nothing near the water wheel. We are without water wheel. Okay, let's head up the ramp. Just seven more bottles though, just seven more. Okay, six down. There, in the fire. Okay, yep, there's another one right here. Okay, and funnily enough, that vent right there, that leads to the vault. Okay, there we are. Another one down. Ah, I'm hearing it. Okay. Like I said, just keep your ears peeled because, well, you don't know when you'll hear it. The tinging of the bottle. Okay, let's go, go, go.
Okay, get away, get away. Okay, let's get back to the safe house and then knock out the first mission. Because the first mission will transition us into basically the phase two of the level. It's not like Dimitri's level where there were two missions in phase one of the level. This time around, basically, it's just one mission, which is the recon mission. Then you got the phase one heists. Then you got the phase two. And then basically onto the heist itself. So anyways, the only three bottles to go. Yeah, that'll summon in some wily guards, but they can't chase us over here, so we are 100% safe. Okay, things are getting a little heated right now. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Okay, so as Sly stated, we just have to make our way up these branches. Make our way over to the door, or rather the window. And we are in. Rajan. That's him. Rajan's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Jean Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Yeah, basically, just each of them are going to come out one at a time. Another Claw Gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Oh, come on, Contessa! Okay, just got to wait awkwardly here for someone to pop out. Okay, there's a there's Contessa. That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. And finally, where's Neela? Come on, Neela, come on out. Come on! Normally it doesn't take Neela this long to come out. Come on. There. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crazy. With cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. 
Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Okay, so on that note, I think that now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.